The budget wasn't the only thing taxing investors' minds this week. So with the latest business and market news, over to Jane Edwards. Thanks, Alan. Lingering nervousness over Greek debt pushed Wall Street stocks lower on Friday. The major indices lost around 1% each as investors moved out of riskier assets into safer sectors like healthcare and utilities. Many analysts are now forecasting a pullback in share prices as the Federal Reserve's injection of money comes to an end next month. The rally in commodities appears shaky and European debt continues to cast a shadow over international markets. The IMF and Eurozone ministers are meeting over the next few days to discuss Greek debt and investors are bracing for some nasty surprises. But latest news on the US economy is reassuring, with inflation remaining in check and consumer sentiment rising as the job market improves. Across the week, the US share market was broadly unchanged. The UK gave away 1%, Europe and Japan lost 2% and Australia fell by another 1%. Now, with all our local news, here's Marcus Padley. Uh, the market survived the budget this week. Uh, we saw a bit of a wobble in resources after the Chinese tightened reserve bank requirements. Uh, in the banking sector, the CBA had a third quarter trading update much in line with expectations. Macquarie and ANZ went ex-dividend. Westpac goes ex-dividend uh, tomorrow. Uh, in the retailers, we saw third quarter sales numbers from Meyer and David Jones. Both of them saw falls in third quarter sales. Uh, the difference between the two being that David Jones expects a 5% profit increase this year. Meyer expects a 5% fall. Uh, in the building sector, we saw Borel with a trading update uh, saying that they are online to meet expectations. Uh, we saw results this week from CSR, Incitec Pivot and SP Osnet. Uh, Downer EDI had a trading update. Uh, some brokers now thinking this beleaguered company has fallen far enough. Suncor Metway was well up on a quarterly update, which included the comment that they don't need to raise provisions uh, to cover the recent floods. Eluca was up on quarterly production number. Ozenko up on a contract win. Uh, Foster's has now formally split off into two. Its wine business is trading separately as uh, Treasury Wine Estates. JB Hi-Fi closed off their off-market share buyback on Friday. They'll announce any scale back tomorrow. GPT also had a buyback announcement. Redflex collapsed after shareholders rejected a bid from Macquarie and the Carlisle Group. Australian Agricultural was down on the capital raising. And Gloucester Coal spent the week in a trading hold ahead of a large acquisition and a capital raising. Uh, we saw profit warnings this week from One Steel, Blue Scope Steel and Paperlinks. All of those companies hurt by a higher Aussie dollar. And we also saw a profit warning from Select Harvests. Uh, on the takeover front, uh, we've seen bids for Spotless and Centibet. Winner of the week this week was Catalpa Resources, up 23% after a bid from St Barbara Limited. And loser of the week was 